I'm Chris Cumnock, the Executive Director of the Tom Landry Classic, and I'm here today to talk about the first couple weeks of the high school football season. Obviously, we've seen a lot of strong teams. We've seen some teams get off to slow starts, and probably is a good place to start there. Uh, a couple of teams in week zero that got off to slow starts that are primarily powerhouses in, in a given year, South Lake Carroll and Highland Park. Um, and obviously, you can look at the opponents of those two teams the first week, South Lake Carroll playing Allen at home and Highland Park playing Alito in the Tom Landry Classic. Uh, those two opponents being Allen and Alito had a lot to do with the slow starts of those two teams. Uh, I, I think with, with South Lake, you, there, there tends to be a perception that when they put the Dragon helmet on that those players are superior players because they wear the Dragon helmet. And I, I, they're, they're a very good team. They're obviously going to be a playoff team. They will probably be a district champion team. But I don't think this team is as strong as a lot of the South Lake teams we've seen in the past. And it's, it's cyclical with, with every program. But I, I think it's not a down year for South Lake, but I don't think they're going to be quite as strong as they've been in, in some years past. And obviously, when you have a, a player like Kenny Hill graduates, uh, the, the quarterback they have now, Agnew, is a good player. He's not he's not on the same level Kenny Hill was, and, and a program can a program can really be buoyed by by a, a top flight quarterback like Hill. So I, I think you'll see how I think you'll see South Lake get stronger as the year goes on. I just don't think you're going to see them knock off teams like Allen and Capel, uh, those those really strong teams. Highland Park is, is a little bit different story. Uh, they, they lose uh, in zero week to Alito and lost by a large margin. Uh, Alito's going to do that to a lot of teams this year. They're, they're probably as strong a team in the state in 4A as, as, as there is, and I, and I don't see them being challenged until very deep in the playoffs. With that said, Highland Parks is, is a very young team, particularly on offense this year, and, and that's the norm at Highland Park because typically they when you when you get to your senior year is, is the time that you uh, earn your position and, and, and get to play. So it's it's not it's not abnormal for them to have uh, some inexperience, but this year I think it's just taken a little bit longer for those players to step in and, and, and be ready to go. I expect by district for for particularly those offensive players, to be a little more seasoned and, and a little more ready to play at a, at a high level. I don't know if if they get it to that level that it's been to uh, in, in the past. So you could see them lose a game or two this year beyond beyond the Alito game. Um, still be a strong, still be a, a playoff team and a strong team, but but again, like, like South Lake, probably not, this is probably not their year. They're probably a year away from being a, a team that, that's a state championship caliber team the interesting thing is going to be uh, when they get into district and they play Poteet that's a game at Highlander Stadium this year and they've not lost at home in the Randy Allen era so that that game against Poteet this year is, is really one of the, the big tests for them to, to see if they can keep that streak alive uh, in, in terms of, of teams that that we've seen out of the gate that, that have really looked strong when you look at, at 4a uh, you know, Denton Geyer dropped their, their first game, but it was against Cedar Hill, which is one of the better 5A teams in, in the area. Um, so I, I think you give them a, a pass on that one. In fact, they, they played pretty well at Cedar Hill. Um, then, then they had the, the death of, of the fullback the next week, and they played Colleyville Heritage, another 5A team, and it took them about a half, I think, to kind of get things, to get the cobwebs out a little bit. It was a tough week on those kids. They had the, the funeral on Wednesday, and they played on Thursday. But, but at the end of the day, Denton, Denton Geyer is going to be there, and they're going to challenge for another state championship for the one that they won last year. They've got a chance to go back-to-back. Back. Uh, like I said before, Alito is extremely strong. Uh, great offensive and defensive lines. They've got a lot of playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. And they're getting uh, really, I think, a lot better play out of the young quarterbacks than, than maybe they anticipated this early in the season. So... I, th I think those two teams in, in 4A are the ones that you look at that, that, that you're going to say, you know, really strong. Um, there, there's other teams in the Metroplex that, that have a chance to, to, to make some noise in the playoffs as well. A team like Frisco Centennial, um, they've stayed strong for, for a number of years, still have a lot of offensive playmakers. They've, they've got three key all-district players that have been out since the start of the season. 
that they're hoping to get back by district, if not you know, a week or two after district. And once they get those players back, uh, they'll you'll know a lot more about that team. Um, Lake Dallas is a team that that I, I really flew under the radar the whole off season. I saw them play last year. They were a young team last year, but you could tell they, they had some playmakers that they just needed to, to mature a little bit, and they're there at this point. And so I think you could see Lake Dallas, they, they beat Frisco Centennial last week uh, in an overtime game, 51-44, but that's a team that's got a, a, a lot of playmakers on offense. They're going to be able to score. Um, they're very strong, both offensive and defensive lines. So look for Lake Dallas to be one of those teams to, to – at the end of the year, you'll look up and say, "Wow, they're they're nine and one." And, and where did that come from? But but again, the the foundation was being laid for for that group last year. 